Matt Garthoff, he's a great guy. That is amazing. He's the mascot. This guy has got so much energy. He gets the crowd going. Best stuff. My name is Matt Garthoff, I'm 43 years old. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a uh, creative director, and one day a week uh, I work for the World Series of Beach Volleyball, so I kind of get a little bit of a balance between uh, what I need to do to pay the bills and my passion, which is volleyball. Volleyball Queue was kind of born out of this tailgating tradition. I love going to tailgates, and I thought, well, why don't we do that for volleyball? People love to play the sport of volleyball. They don't necessarily love to spectate. <laughs> to compare that to what happens in other countries, it's unbelievable. Go to Poland, they fill a 65,000 seat arena for volleyball game. When volleyball isn't happening at a game, there are not as many people there. It's a lot quieter. And the reason barbecue exists really is to kind of solve a problem, and, and that is how do I get people to care? How do I get people to show up? I met Matt. It was uh, 21 years ago, Memorial Day weekend. I was playing volleyball with some of his friends. Since the day Sophia was born, we've <laughs> I put a little plush volleyball in her hand, and so volleyball is like central to my family. So what are you doing on the last day of school? Like I don't... watching movies. You watch movies. You walk in your classroom, you sit down, and you watch a movie. Yeah. You get a couple months off. That's not enough. But we made ice cream and science. I think from a young age, I was always obsessed with. California stuff. I surfed, I skateboarded. I was kind of looking for something that could be my own and just really gravitated toward volleyball. The moment I started playing, I was like, I love this. This is for me. I think there's seeds of it way back in the 80s. 1984, the US men's team won the gold medal. I mean, if you think back to the 80s, it was all bright neon. You know, it was, it was everything I thought was, was kind of cool. The George Washington costume, I honest to God don't remember the first time I did it. I felt like we needed to galvanize people to, to signal to them something was different. Matt is very animated as George Washington. In real life, he is a list maker with check boxes. He's a lot shyer. He doesn't talk as much to people. Oh man, we got a lot to do today. Oh. Between now and Saturday, it's gonna be a lot of running around getting everything finalized. Okay, see ya. All right. All right. Okay, ciao. Bye. See ya. All right. All set? I think so. What's happening? I'm Matt. Good to meet you, meet yeah, you. Yeah. And you're doing Snapchat takeover? Just kind of go around and videotape what's going on. I think if you had a one hour block, I would probably go like three to four. Use hashtag BBQ5, use the geo filter. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank See you, you Saturday. Yes. <laughs> See ya. Nobody knows, and it's not like yeah. they don't want to come. It's I just know. that they don't know. If we don't sell it on Saturday, I'm going to hurt someone. Yeah. Well, I won't tie up your entire afternoon, but thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, awesome. And we will uh, we'll see you Saturday. Okay. The volunteers are at my house right now doing uh, bag stuffing. Okay, so you just take a bag and you put a bang a banner in it. All right, show me how it's done, man. Uh, I'm holding up the line. I'm holding up the line. Cassidy <laughs> James, oh, I lapped you. It's amazing, it's taken five years, but it's starting to get a little of that momentum and, and expectation. Hopefully, barbecue will become a tradition. Barbecue day is packed with all kinds of great little activities. We just introduced a new one last year, which was the Pepper Marathon. We do a Grand Marshal parade. For Taiba Hanif Park, a three time Olympian. The costume contest. Bye -bye, ladies and gentlemen. We bring you the man, 
the myth, the legend. What's it gonna be like to be here back in the United States with not only the barbecue crowd, but a packed pyramid in red, white, and blue? It is not gonna get any better than that. Thank you, barbecue. <laughs> I am kind of like a little more quiet and reserved in my day to day, and so it gives you a little alter ego to, to get out all that crazy passion and enthusiasm. The George Washington costume, there's a kind of a moment where you transform, like you put on your, your superpower cape and charge into the arena, like a, a switch kind of gets flipped, and they're looking to you to like, like, what do we do? Like, how do we cheer? Once I see a bunch of people show up, that'll be all the incentive I need to get, to get fired up. Team bus greeting. I mean, that, that's probably my favorite. It is the one time players and fans interact. That's like a metaphor for the whole thing. Woo, what a day! Oh my goodness. We haven't even got to the match yet. We all scream the national anthem, we don't hum it, and that sort of sets the tone, like we're here, we're the United States, and then I, I do everything I can to cheer my brains out and get everybody else to cheer their brains out. We will have the Ace Girls, which is the USA Volleyball's like cheerleading squad. I actually have a little uh, secret routine planned with them. That's will be a surprise for the uh, folks in the in the stands. Now let's, let's go home. Let's go home. Hitting. Oh, come on, you don't look ready. You don't look ready at all. I have a very specific memory of what it was like before of me going to a USA event that was lightly attended, not enthusiastically cheered. Somebody's got to change that, and that's part of what Volbeke is trying to do. For one day, <laughs> for one key match, I can make it feel like they're at home. If everything goes according to plan and it's a great day, um, there's an amazing feeling of satisfaction. Just look at all these people having fun and go, we did this. Like, we caused that to happen. Like, that's a perfect day for me.